In this video, I'm going to show you how to design hair beautifully in ZBlush. I'd like to explain the steps in 5 minutes, so I will keep it short. I will start with making a rough basic shape of hair with a plain polygon, which is a low polygon and no thickness. I will add thickness to it, and then add more polygons later on. First of all, I'll use a spare for bangs. This is because polygonal lines that radiate from one point to the spare are useful for creating a flow of hair. Click the gear icon from Gizmo and click flatten. I drag the small orange cone on the left side to flatten the left side of spare like this. Click the gear icon again and click confirm to complete the edit. I lightly adjusted the shape of the bangs with gizmo. Mask the flat surface and then split and delete. Go to Zmodeler's Edge Actions and select Insert. Hold down the Option key or Alt key to reduce the edges. I use the Move Brush to make the tip of the hair look like this. Go to Zmodeler's Edge Action to find Scale and make Target Partial Edge Loop. By skipping one vertical edge loop, you can create bumpy look. By skipping one vertical edge loop, you can create bumpy look. Anyway, it's easy to edit the hair flow with few polygons and low polygons, aka low poly. If you turn on the dynamic subdivide under geometry, you will get soft shaped hair. Under Zmodelab's Q mesh, Select whole group, then pull inside the hair to add thickness to the inside. Apply Z modeler's crease to the edge part of the mountain fold. If you turn on dynamic subdivide again, the hair will have more edges than before. The hair on the back of the head is the same. If this method is used, it's easy to control the shape of the other part of the hair. Lastly, go to Dynamic Subdivide and click Apply to have a smooth shape with lots of polygons. Next time, I'll try a different hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video. 
If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave your comment down below. See you next time!